Hello, this is Leech83, how are we doing? Welcome to episode 6 of our Celtic career here on FIFA 17. And we are about to get into our next game, which is against Kilmarnock. In this episode, we've got Kilmarnock, then we've got Benfica, and then we have got Ross County in the league for our three games, which isn't too bad at all, and will get us finished September into October. So, this game against Kilmarnock then, first of all, and we are going to go... I think we're going to need to go with our change kit for this one, that's fine. And we have went with Gordon and goals with Lustig, Torrey, Saviachenko and Tierney at the back with Scott Brown in the middle with Patrick Roberts and Sinclair providing the width. In the midfield attacking position we've got Stuart Armstrong and then up front Marcus Rashford and Lee Griffiths. Unfortunately Moussa Dembele has got a broken ankle and he's out for three months so we need to wait and him coming back. But Rashford is an able uh, debutant so he can come in and take the place. So let's get into this game, let's get three points on the board. Nice quick attack and play out to Marcus Rashford. And he's got a chance to run at the commander defence into the middle. Marcus Rashford by the post. Good press by Lee Griffiths to put that ball to Rashford. He gives it back to Griffiths and he smashes it home. Perfect finish by Griffiths. Nice determined play. Pressing the ball at the back. And Rashford lays it off for him. And Griffiths lashes it home for 1-0. Nice ball for Rashford, played through by Armstrong, it's Rashford cutting back in, across the command at defence, good shot and saved by the goalkeeper. Patrick Roberts, ball into the middle, Rashford's there, it's over the bar, unbelievable, he should have scored. Roberts forward for Chuba Akpom, who's come on for Rashford, and it's Chuba Akpom in the middle, he's there for a the finish, calmly. That'll do nicely, Akpom off the bench and immediate impact. And makes it 2 0, and it's three points confirmed in the back for us on this one. Nice play by Agpom, cutting into the middle, and a nice little finish into the far post. Well, that'll do it for us, a nice comfortable win in the end. It's a 2 0 victory, another three points on the board for us, and a good all round team performance. We don't necessarily get the most of possession, but that's fine as long as we keep making chances. We'll be doing all right. Um, tackling the ball in the midfield is really giving us the, the come up on the games. When we are set up upper team, I'm putting up as like a kind of high press, and uh, really trying to press the ball as much as we can, so we can try and get win the ball back in the midfield. And so far, we've been doing that relatively well. Um, as you can see with the amount of tackles that we're having, um, if I was if I would stop doing that, that would be helpful. As you can see, 15 tackles um, in in the, in the game, which is good for us. But if we keep doing that, we should be comfortable. Um, as I said, dominating the midfield. So we move on then to our next game. We'll just get a quick. Um, update on things. I just need to um, have a little look at our Champions League table because that's our next game is against Benfica. So we should be able to get a look at that table just now. So there you can see Spurs on top with three points, then Napoli with one, ourselves on one, and then Benfica at the bottom. So Benfica bottom of the group needing a victory, and ourselves, if we could get a victory on this one, it would basically. Um, keep us at a minimum of third anyway so we really want to go for that. In regards of our player development everything else is going okay with those but I like using these guys for training they're kind of some of the youngest players on the team Alex Iwobi, Loftus-Cheek, uh, Joseph Simnovic, Kieran Tierney and Patrick Roberts all get good scope for growth and um, so usually put them in for these type of things possession dribbling the rondo and the rondo for the two defenders and then the dribbling for Patrick Roberts just to build on his uh, stamina and his agility because his agility is 91 he's in game stat which is absolutely outstanding so we want to build on that if we can so we'll keep putting him in for that continued training and um, I just always simulate them it's the easiest way to do it and Usually they all do okay, unfortunately uh, Robert's failing on this a time, um, as I was talking him up there, that's always going to be the case. But anyway, that's the training that I do for the team, I do occasionally change it and we put another couple of youth in there, um, but these are the guys who have good scope for growth and are on uh, long term contracts at the club as well. So we want to kind of keep a hold of these guys and try and make them up. Patrick Roberts obviously on loan from... Manchester City but I believe there is a glitch in game that actually means that Patrick Roberts doesn't go back to City after his first um, season so we'll keep him on the train and if we can keep a hold of him that would be great and um, we'll kind of wait and see how that one progresses but anyway we'll get the team ready and we'll get into the game against Benfica. 
Okay then, so for the home game against Benfica, then we've made three changes to the team. We've brought Nyland in for Gordon, brought Gangboa in for Lustig, and we have brought James Forrest in in replace of uh, Stuart Armstrong. Apart from that, it's an unchanged team from those players. Um, and as I say, it's good to get the three points in this one. Let's get into it and see what we can do. That's good play by Jimenez. And he's blazed it wide. 34 Ten minutes played. We do have a throw in. In a good position. Nice play. Patrick Roberts then with a finish. By the post. Good chance. What a save. Goalkeeper that came back at us really quickly there. Slack passing. Brown picking up a yellow card as well. That was a really good opportunity there for Benfica. Good press. Again. That's a good ball. Lee Griffiths in the box. He's got a chance. Lee Griffiths again. That will do nicely. 1-0. 64 minutes played. Great play. And Griffiths again makes no mistake. Good little layoff. And a lovely strong finish. Goalkeeper not doing well at all. And it's 1-0. Good play by Forrest for Griffiths again. Patrick Roberts picks up the loose ball. Oh, he wins it back. Patrick Roberts in the middle. Griffiths is there. And that's 2-0. That will do. Absolutely superb. Great play. Good press and play by Patrick Roberts once again. Winning it back and making it 2-0. Benfica dilly-dallying at the back. Roberts is on it. Griffiths smashing home once again for 2 well, that again is another fantastic victory for us. It's 2-0 in the end against Benfica. And we're looking pretty pleased with ourselves there with our generic looking manager. So, all in all, decent performance. Seven shots, three of them on target. Actually, Benfica having more of the chances. But again, decent amount of tackling. Uh, trying not to give away too many fouls, obviously. But we're doing okay in the middle of the park. And that is, what, as I say, what is winning is the game. So, it's another victory for us. And we are doing really well in the Champions League this time round. Everything's looking pretty good. So we've got one more game to play this episode. It's going to be against Ross County. Let's get the team changed. I've got to put out some youth players on that one. And we'll see if we can get up another three points. Okay then, so here we go for our home game against Ross County. And due to the horrendous nature of the uh, kits, I'm just going to go with our black kit and let Ross County play in the white kit there. So we've went with a completely different 11 this time. Uh, we've got Craig Gordon and goals with Lustig, Gibson, Simnovovic and Izagiri playing a 4-5-1 formation with Awobi, Beaton and Burke, Loftus, Cheek and Gary Mackay, Steven making up the 5 in the middle with Chuba Agpom leading the attack. This gives some of our senior players a rest. It's a game we should be expected to win and hopefully we can do that. Early free kick is Mackay, Steven standing over it. A chance to try and get something on target. Which he does do! Lovely finish! And it is... Gary Mackay, Stephen, I thought it was, I can't remember what I thought, like I said, Stuart Armstrong there, heads up my arse, uh, it's Gary Mackay, Stephen, and that's a lovely finish with that free kick, just floating it over the wall, keeper really should have done better, and it is 1-0. Well, that's not the best of games for us, but it is a 1-0 victory in the end, coming from that free kick by Gary Mackay, Stephen, early on. Um, we had a decent amount of chances, Ross County never really threatened anything on target for ourselves and again the tackles and the play in the midfield is what won us the game. I know we were playing a different formation there with a few guys that are obviously still young pups, pretty low rated and what have you, but in all, the three points is all that matters. So that is a winning episode for us and that's exactly what we want, two, leagues in, uh, two league wins and a Champions League win as well. All good and we're in good shape at the moment. Now next month we've got another tasty uh, sorry, next episode we're in a new month and we've got another tasty couple of games coming up. We obviously have our first Glasgow Derby coming up, which is actually on the same date as the League Cup semi-final, which is happening in real life, which is the 23rd of October. Um, we also have, let's just confirm what else we've got coming up in the calendar. We've got, uh, before that, however, uh, Dundee, we've got Spurs and then the Glasgow Derby to come up as well on the 23rd, like I say. Quite ironic that it is on the same day as obviously the game in real life. But anyway, that has been this episode. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then drop a like. As always, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Plenty of content coming out. I'm going to try and get something sorted out with regards to our schedule and what have you. Um, but you'll 
hopefully happen sometime soon. It's just down to time and what have you. But we'll get there eventually. But I really do appreciate your time. Thank you very much for the support as always. I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.